Today is Tuesday, May 17th, B-Day. I'm Sydney Groskopf. And I'm Matt Cregan. And this is Kennedy Live. For some school announcements. The students are reminded that Kennedy will be offering weekend Regents Review courses in both math and science in June. Students were emailed a registration form with more details. The deadline to submit payment and register is Thursday, May 26th. Space is limited. Any questions, please contact Mr. Keeley. Kim Pizzella, Liz Sharon, and Caroline King are starting a Kennedy Spirit Club. Go sorry, Gales. sorry if I messed your names up a little bit. There will be a meeting in the lower library today after Kennedy Live for anyone interested in joining. And in world and local news, John Kasich signaled Monday that he is still harbors a deep uneasy, uneasiness with Donald Trump as the Republican nominee, declining to endorse him and reiterating that he will not serve as Trump's vice president. Even now that he's left the race, Kasich is uh, resisting calls to serve as Trump's number two, portraying his pitch and Trump's as fundamentally incompatible. Kasich said he was not inclined to run with Trump and that he has not changed my mind, or changed his mind. A couple of divers in ancient Israel, part of Caesarea, brought up some items from the seabed last month, leading to the discovery of a treasure trove of bronze statues, coins, and other artifacts that went down years ago. The divers notified the Israel Antiques Authority of their find, leading to an extensive dive revealing the remains of a long-lost sailing ship, along with iron anchors. Among the items found were statues of Roman gods and 44 pounds of coins engraved with the head of Constantine. The tiny Vermont college that Bernie Sanders' wife used to run is going out of business, done in by a $10 million real estate deal that she spearheaded. Burlington College, which has been crushed beneath the weight of a property purchase made in 2010, while Jane Sanders was a college president, will close at the end of the month. The college confirmed, on, the college confirmed this on Monday. On, in a letter to the students and parents, college president Carol Moore said the closure brought a deep sense of loss and sadness. Current students, she said, will be able to transfer credits and continue their education at a neighboring college. And here's what's new in sports. Boys varsity lacrosse at Holy Trinity today for the state championship. They play at 430. Good luck to the boys. And the Thunder beat the Warriors 108 to 102 in game one of the Western Conference Finals. Kevin Dern and Russell Westbrook combined for 54 points. Penguins beat the Lightning by a score of 3 to 2. Well, and now for this day in history with Matthew Carney. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Matthew Carney with your Daily Dose of History. On this day in 1885, the Apache medicine man Geronimo escapes from a reservation in Arizona. On this day in 1974, the Watergate hearings are televised. And finally, on this day in 1954, the case of Brown versus the Board of Education is decided. This ends the separate... Thanks, Matt. Well, I'm Sydney Groskopf. And I'm Matt Cregan. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have a great day.